Sports now. The Watville community in Ekuruleni is up in arms. They are upset over the release of a four-year-old Bukhabu Ball's alleged killer. In fact, the court acquitted uh, him as the evidence was inconclusive. Residents are now calling for justice and want the real killer arrested. Senior reporter Slee Ndolomasekana joins us now with the latest. Slee, where you are right now, there's a hive of activity. Community, uh, communities have come out in their numbers. Uh, there's strike action. Give us more detail. Certainly so. We're out here in the community of Wadville. Of course, this is where we know where Bukhaba Ball grew up. Um, all of four years old before her life was tragically and horrifically taken. We know, of course, that she went missing for a couple of days before her mutilated body was found. A young man called Ndogozo Zikali was then arrested for her disappearance, for her murder, for her rape. And subsequently, it seems the justice system has failed not only Bukhabo's community, but uh, the family in particular. The committee has now come out in their numbers to call for justice. They are, at this present moment, marching to the Benoni Magistrates Court, uh, where we understand there will be an address and where we will be meeting uh, some of the family members. I just want to bring in a community representative to just give us some context as to why this was important. I'm going to ask him to introduce himself and then talk to me about why it was important for this community to come out today. So good morning. Just talk to me about the community of Wadville seemingly really wanting to voice out and show its frustration and its anger. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Goyo. Yes, indeed, as a community of Wadville, we have uh, gathered together to ensure that uh, because you are grieved, uh, we are not satisfied in the manner in which um, the situation, the entire situation, was handled by the criminal justice system. Uh, we were shocked to learn that um, Dogozo um, was acquitted in all five charges. So therefore, we wonder uh, what has happened to the board, who then did all these crimes to Umukhabu, if not in Dogozo. So we are of the view that uh, we will get a good sentence, uh, we will get 25 or more, but now um, him being acquitted, what does it say about the manner in which uh, uh, Bukhaba was found, who did all those things that were done to uh, Bukhaba. Yeah. I see there's also a family representative here. Maybe talk to me about how the family is doing. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Chohanis Isbia. I'm the stepfather of Bukhaba Paul. Uh, as the family, we, 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 we are very disappointed because uh, and Togos was acquitted of all the charges. So in South Africa, uh, just there's no chance for us. There's no justice. The state has failed us, especially the I.O., the investigating officer, because there's nothing that the prosecutor was going to do without any evidence. So uh, Kez Ampele, he, he failed as a family. He really failed us. We are not coping very well. As you see, uh, the community is fighting. We, we, we hope maybe this case, we can be able to reopen it again and start afresh with new evidence. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, so those are just uh, some of the community members here, the representatives of the family who have come out in their numbers to really try and show that they are dissatisfied with how the case of Bokabopo was handled in particular by the police because the only reason why Ndogo Zazikali was acquitted of those charges was because of the fact that there was simply not enough evidence to prosecute or to actually find him guilty of the charges before him. He was facing a charge of murder, of defeating the ends of justice, of rape, as well as violation of a human body. And just to remind our viewers that prior to Ndogo Zazikali being charged with um, the disappearance of Bukhaba Paul, he was actually facing another rape matter, a previous rape matter. So the charge uh, against him in terms of Bukhabo's disappearance was a second matter that uh, he was facing. And he has now, of course, been found not guilty of those charges. And the community of Watville coming out to say that that is just simply not good enough. And uh, they are trying to see whether there are other options uh, in terms of perhaps uh, reopening the case or, or finding justice for Bukabo uh, in another manner. But this is just one of the ways that the community is wanting to voice as well as show its frustration with the justice system. That's.